I think transit's essential because it provides opportunity. It provides, it kind of levels the playing field in some respects to provide access for individuals for healthcare, for uh, jobs, for education, and just for being part of the community. Over the last year, the transit industry has faced some really significant hurdles. We have operator shortages. You've seen a, a reduction in service in the St. Louis region alone and really across the state. But at the same time, Citizens for Modern Transit and Transit had some really historic wins this year. We really transitioned over the last year from, I would say, reactive to now proactivity again and really focusing, for example, on the placemaking activities that we started a few years back and really had some success with. And then also, again, that proactivity of shifting from, um, you know, just reactive of safety, security, and what, you know, how do we get through the pandemic to how do we grow? Access to transit in North City and North County is imperative to giving our residents a tool to succeed. Um, in addition, it serves as an expansion tool for possible development in North City, which has had decades of disinvestment and parts of South St. Louis. And uh, it provides us even more momentum and more, more of a narrative and more of an argument for our goals and, 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 and taking advantage of where we are with the federal government right, right now. They mean, they're, the infrastructure bill and the resources that are preparing to come to our community, um, this, is, um, this is a generational opportunity. It was an exceptional year with regards to federal funding, 91 billion for public transit, but you have to have the local match. And that state and local investment in public transit is critical to allowing St. Louis and the state to draw down those federal dollars. For the first time in more than two decades, we saw significant investment in public transit on the part of the state of Missouri. It, it almost quadrupled the amount of public funding for transit across the state. It was also, I think, a recognition in the state that this isn't just an urban thing. We saw our advocacy work at the St. Louis County government level. We saw the assurance that Local sales tax is used not only for current operating, but also for the future expansion of public transit. We also saw, for the first time, a slight uptick in transit ridership. A lot of reasons for that. Um, you know, can you point to one thing? No, but having gas at uh, where it was, um, you know, just some of the folks who have decided that they're not going to be in the office five days a week. We had the opening of our third transit transformation project, the Belleville Station. And we started work on the North Hanley Station, which will open this fall. These are, these are game changers when we talk about transit in the community. It's changing the dialogue. It's changing the environment in which riders are not just passing through anymore, but we're actually seeing programming at these stations. But I, I think that then there's been a lot of efforts in terms of advocacy, and CMT is very good at with the Ten Toes program or some of the other uh, engagement programs they have just really making sure that the word gets out there that transit's easy to use, that it's convenient, um, and certainly affordable in times when things really haven't been going in that direction. The north, south side, uh, north side, south side, uh, uh, Metrolink or BRT, whatever it's going to turn into, uh, is definitely my top priority. I stand ready to try to make sure that this is that this is something that we start on. It may not be complete by the time I leave this office, but it's definitely uh, I want I want us to move forward on that project. We still have work to do in the St. Louis market. This year, we saw a coalescence by the local leaders around the North Side, South Side project. But we need to move that project forward in our next fiscal year. We need to look at other ways to build ridership and ensure that Citizens for Modern Transit continues on. So I think, again, it's that shift out of, um, I described it even last year, I believe, is just, just get through this. Let's you know get through the pandemic. We recognize that it's not a pandemic, it's endemic now. This is gonna be how we are. COVID's here with us to stay. But now we need to get back to, to working and to business as usual in this new world that we live in. And CMT's figured out, here's where our role is in that, and we can be very proactive. So while we had some significant challenges this year, we also had some real wins. And we saw that as well with an increase in membership in the organization. So people are seeing the value of public transit and getting on board with Citizens for Modern Transit. So we're excited to see where we go in FY23 and we hope to stay on track to ensure transit continues to bring wins to the St. Louis region and the state of Missouri.